Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries presents Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Greetings to you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ For a brief meditation this morning let's turn our bibles to 1st Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6 but godliness with contentment is great gain many of us we claim the promise which the lord said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee but can i tell you who can claim this promise of god hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5 let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. All cannot claim this promise. We live in a world filled with dissatisfied and greedy people. Let us not be one of them. The biblical principle is, if we thank God for what we do have, God will give us even that we do not have. But if we murmur against God for what we do not have, we will lose even what we do have. It is indeed surprising that, that the first person in the whole bible to say i have enough was not one who was acclaimed a saint it was esau is it shocking to you genesis chapter 33 verse 9 and esau said i have enough my brother keep that thou hast unto thyself we know jacob deceived his father and also his brother esau and got his birthright esau was very angry at the time and determined to kill jacob However, it looks as if Esau somehow learned the lesson that godliness with contentment is great gain and became a transformed person. Now we affectionately address as Jacob after 20 years as my brother. In this age of materialism and greed, discontentment can lead a person even to killing one's own relatives. When you are content with what you have, your relationship with god and others will be right and you will have no desire to amass wealth or materials even if they are offered to you free you will never even think of coveting another man's possessions it is amazing to note that the face of the man who uttered the words i have enough was seen as the face of god in fact jacob was expecting to see a murderous face in esau Look at your Bible, Genesis chapter 33 verse 10. Jacob says, I have seen thy face as though I had seen the face of God. When Jacob was talking to Esau, he says, In you I see the face of God. That's the face of a man who is content with what God has given him. It is probable that Jacob realized that this transformation was due to Esau's contentment. And Jacob too, whose name means supplanter, cheat, deceiver, or grabber, seems to have changed, for we find him also saying, I have enough. Look at the Bible, Genesis chapter 33 verse 11. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. Jacob says this to Esau. The lesson is crystal clear here. Contentment is... changes your countenance and changes others countenance through you if the man who said i have enough had a face like the face of the lord you can imagine how terrible the face of the man who says i have not enough i need more will be this contentment is primarily the nature of the devil that's how the anointed cherub lucifer became the devil when god had blessed him with so many wonderful gifts talents and privileges He was still not happy and totally dissatisfied and he wanted to sit on the very throne of God. We can infer the element behind dissatisfaction is pride. Because of his discontentment, he lost his glorious state. And Eve with his subtlety caused even Eve to become discontent with all the fruits that the Lord had given them in the Garden of Eden. And because of her discontentment, both Haram and Eve lost the glorious state. especially sisters should be very careful in this area what was the result 
of this discontentment. They both lost the image of God. But Jacob could see the image of God in Esau when he said, I have enough. Therefore, dear child of God, be content with what God has given you and never ever murmur or grumble against God for anything. God wants others to see His image in you and in me and that is possible only through contentment. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.